Hey friends, so I'm pretty excited about this. I am doing a twofer today. So I'm on the Tape Runner design team and love this adhesive. I actually love the way this um, this Tape Runner feels in my hand. I have smaller hands and it's super comfortable to use. And it's ever so sticky, but lets you reposition, you know, in a short amount of time while you need to. Awesome, great. <laughs> so I thought I'd tell you about that and I'll have links down below for where you can uh, get your hands on this. So I'm also on the design team at scrapbookingstore.com and this month we are using the Simple Stories I Am collection as well as I have upgrades. I get the upgrades as well as being on the de design team. So you can order them as well. I'll have the link down below for my affiliate link for scrapbookingstore.com. And then uh, you don't have to use the affiliate link if you don't want to, but it helps to support my channel. Okay, there's my PSA. So I was lucky enough, I guess it's almost like a paid advertising kind of thing, to get this kit uh, in exchange for showing you how awesome it is as well as my tape runner. So this is a two for kind of video. So I'm trying to get my thoughts together because it's very pretty. I know I want to use these three pattern papers. Don't know exactly where I'm going with it. Let me show you the photo though. I have this photo here of my oldest daughter Shay and she was in Colorado. Her hat says veil. I don't know if this is Vale where she is in this photo or not. She just sends me lots of pictures. So I'm going to be using that. And I went ahead and grabbed some wax paper and pulled off the stickers and my title so far for this layout. So this layout will be called Safe Travels because she is traveling and she has on a mask and I thought that would be kind of cute. And look at this sticker. It's an airplane sticker that was on the sticker sheet, which will pull it together, as well as this cute Instax kind of camera. So I have those goodies right there chosen already. Now, it doesn't mean I'll use them all, and it does not mean that I won't pull more in. And I also have these great bits. I have these, what they're called enamel dots, but they have these great wood pieces, as well as enamel dots from Pink Paisley, truly great fall, and they match ever so perfectly. So yeah, they go really, really well with this. Um, so I know I have that going on. I have trimmed my photo, but I haven't decided what I'd like to mat it with. I'll probably mat it with this scrap here. You won't be able to read the words, but I do love, love, love text print. So I think I will mat it with that and I need just something else. Like, like I have scraps and I always go towards the scraps first. So maybe I'll do something like that. I don't really know. I'm figuring it out. And then I, I want to use this going on the horizontal for my, for my background. And, but I'm really drawn to these two papers. So here's the flip sides. I mean, or should I use this one? I love this grid and I can really use, okay, that just changed. This grid is so perfect, but I used it previously when I uh, had this piece of paper before, but I think if I use that, I'll get more bang for my buck. All right, I changed already. That's how quickly I change because I love all the patterns and all of the things. All right, and I have a hinker to do some paper tearing too. So let me get things torn, let me get things decided, and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I have a little bit more direction now. I love this ledger paper, and I don't know if I've ever been able to not use a ledger paper. So that is that. See how well that goes on, by the way? All right, so I just did a really simple tear on this multicolored pattern paper. I like it because all the colors of the collection are in it. And I thought I would do something like this. I usually have tears going down the side, so I don't know. I just like me a good old school tear sometimes. There we go. And now for this piece, this is what my photo is going to rest on, kind of a shelfy piece, right? I'm thinking of lining it up just maybe along that line, or is that too, too linear, liney? I think about right there. So let me get my T-square ruler. There we go. Now I have this picture that we've talked about putting on here. 
I also have to keep in mind where I might want my title. So I think I like the idea of the word travels there and safe right above it. Now you know how nice it is when you have a ledger that you can ever so easily use it to line up whatever your sentiments or thoughts are. It's really nice that way. Okay, so this butterfly paper, it's cream on cream, I know. So I'm wondering, do I do, I think I'll do a tiny bit of this deeper tone, trim this, and then I will flip it over and then mat it again on the butterfly paper. That way I will get a little bit more depth and dimension with it. So let me do that. I'll come back and we'll decorate the rest of this layout. Alrighty, let's take a look at this. Now, on camera, I'm looking at this and my title is not popping off in real life. You can see it like crazy. So just, just work with me, trust me. Now, I want to get this little camera piece in there under some of my titles. So I think before my letters dry, I better stick that on there and I have to figure out how I want my little plane. Okay, that is so cute because I want the idea of travels to be a really big part of that. So let me pop on just a little bit more of liquid glue on here so I can get that off my desk. Okay, so that beefed up my title a little bit, brought your eye down to it just a tiny bit more. Now I have all of these other great pieces that are super, super cute. This Live Your Best Life, I think would be, let's see, I don't think her hand is doing anything important. So let's go ahead and pop that up on a little bit of this cheapo craft foam stuff I have on my desk. Let's see, need that handy. So let's get this on. And yes, people have asked me, do you always talk to yourself? My answer is yes, I do. The only good thing about wearing masks in America, I shouldn't say that. I think it's important to wear masks in America. The added fun little benefit is people don't see me talk to myself at the grocery store. Yes, weird little factoid. Okay, so now for these floral bits. I took all of them off the sheet that were there. Oh, you know what? Now that I'm looking at this, I know I'm digressing. I think I wouldn't mind doing another little cluster over here with a small triangular piece. And I like the idea of bringing that blue in on a triangle and it's going to give me, or, or here, I don't know. I like the idea of bringing something else in. Maybe I have a fear of white space. I don't know. I'm going to think about that for a minute. So let's look at where I might be able to tuck in some of these really pretty floral pieces. And yes, I know I just chopped the little guy. He'll be okay. I like the idea of building them out even more, but I don't want to take away from how clean that looks right there. So I will just chop that, use it in a couple places, make it that much more floral. That's cute. Now, I love this camera for the idea of travel. We know this, but I don't know if it's applicable. So for this bit, with these flowers, hmm, wonder if I can sneak them under anything I've done. Oop, I did there. And I did there, and I think I can pop up this little piece for a dimensional bit. Oh, and y'all can ask me any questions you want, by the way. I get a lot of interesting questions or private, you know, not that they're private questions, but interesting questions. <laughs> I have people that have told me that they hate to watch my hands move. I've had people that say they love to watch my hands move. All kinds of, I, oh, and those of you who are missing Mason's snoring on voiceovers, I've been super, super busy this summer, right? So I haven't had as much time to do voiceovers. So I've been doing a little bit more of a like live scrapbooking kind of thing. And he will resurface soon, I promise. So this is the paper I have left that matches this blue that I love so much. So I was looking at it and seeing if there's something I could do that would make sense with it. And I'm kind of wondering if just a little torn bit 
would work. Now I don't want to tear this paper. I just did that in a layout. So let me, let me cut it and then cut it and tear it. Yes, this makes sense. Whatever I'm thinking, it's starting to formulate. So give me a second. I really like this uh, dusty aqua, so I don't want to waste any of it. So let's see. What do you guys think? Feel free to yell it out. And I know I'm ridiculous, so just work with me. I mean, I do kind of like the idea of another angle happening. So what I'm going to do is just pretty much... Yeah, I, I'm kind of feeling like that as an idea to be able to get a cluster over there. So what I'm going to do, since it is a terribly wonky piece of paper, I'm going to let it hit that same point that's on my line right here. And I think I'm going to have some decorative bits coming off that way. So bear with me. Let's see what it even looks like from this side and we'll trim it as we go. And yeah, I happen to be pretty awful with um, cutting a straight line. You don't see me actually use scissors often. My scissors are not fancy. I've had these scissors for like 15 years. I don't, does it even say who makes them? Yeah, they probably came from Costco. Don't know. See, couldn't even cut a straight line right there. Let's try that again. So let's see if there's any more tuck tuck that we need to do. Let's see. I'm going to let it just grab some of the adhesive like that. So that can go down. And same thing over here. We'll just tuck a little bit in now that we know how that wants to look. Good. So I wanted the to have something here to match up with this pattern paper here. It just really felt like I needed a little something something. So now that I have that, I can pop this word up a little bit. I'm sorry, not this word, this cute little camera. Now you can put a camera, literally, legit on any layout that you've ever imagined, which we all know. But I don't even know if it's staying there. Give me a second. But when I'm looking at something that has to do with I already want to move it to do with vacationing or whatever. I really like the idea. Okay. I like that. I really like the idea of cameras. I mean, I really didn't expect for this sheet to have airplane stuff on it. That just was a super happy accident. Okay. I, I'm really, really, really digging that floral cluster. I actually I'm trying to come up with the idea of bringing in some little words or something from my sheet. So let's see what we have. <sighs> okay, I don't think I'm getting the fabulous in, but I got everything else in. So let's put a couple little wordy bits in. I don't even know if it needs it. I do think I'm going to grab some gold mist to bring down. Do I have gold on this? No. Am I going to put gold words? Yes. Okay, see, this whole enough thing, of course she's enough. I know that it's like a big deal, but I'm always like, well, yeah, she is, so. Hmm. It's an affirmation, I know. I like unstoppable. Oh, my journey. Guys, it says my journey on it. Do you see? Y'all see my journey? And it's a travel layout without even trying to be a travel layout. I mean, it's not like it's a travel collection is what I mean. Okay. Ugh. Ugh. Can I ever do anything and not have it crooked, my friends? It's going to be crooked. If I'm doing it, something about it will be crooked. Maybe the sticker's crooked. Okay, good enough. All right, that's there. Let's see. A happy heart is cute. I wouldn't mind a wordy bit. So let's see if there's anything else. Doing what I love works because my girl loves herself some traveling. So that's cute. And it's, that's really cute. I like that it is lighter. Live in the dream would be really cute. And this yellow really will show nicely in the middle of my 5,000 patterns. Now, if I do a third word down here, it's going to have to be in pink or something, which... I like pink. 
I like Unstoppable. Believe in yourself. Actually, I can. Hmm. But I do like the idea of it being in this really bright color because it pops off of this pattern. All right, so that is awesome. I think I'm good with the wordy bits. Unless I want to put two more down, which I could. All right, I will. Because you said so. Let's go ahead and put that there-ish. I like the white. And then what color kind of needs to be represented? Hmm. I think kind of like that baby blue is nice. It says, you've got this girl. There we go for my last little wordy bits. And I have them staggered. I like things a little bit wonky if I can. All right, so I have my enamel dots and my buttons <laughs> switched around. So let's see what I might be able to do that works with this layout. I did one other layout with this, which will be coming out the third week of this month. So I'm going to kind of have a lot of this color on here. So I like the chicken. I don't know how much the chicken has to do with uh, this travel layout, but I do like the chicken that's on there. You guys see it? It's hilarious. Okay. So what I'm doing right now is I'm removing the extra uh, dimensional adhesive that's on the back of this button because these buttons are pretty chonky as it is. And I figure it has enough going on. Get my tape runner adhesive on there now, nice and sticky sticky. So let's go ahead and pop that there. So that's giving a nice little anchor for the words. Let me get one up top as well. I like how much that is showing. So let's see if I can get something to pop nicely. You know, she was in Colorado, rather naturey, so I'm gonna bring the same color tone in my button up there. Once again, removing the dimensional adhesive off of that one, because this guy is dimensional. And putting the cute little leafy bit right there. So I have my two buttons, which I love. I wouldn't mind getting a third, so I'd have a nice little triangle, which is gonna bring you right around the photo as well. So, <laughs> the, okay, is is my issue that I wanna use the chicken? I, I think I wanna use the chicken. All right, well, you know what? When in bail, use a chicken button. And yes, yeah, somebody will quote me on that one. Cause I know I say some interesting thought bits. So this is boring, huh? Watching this. So what else to tell you? Okay. So you'll see me posting with my tape runner adhesive a lot because I love it. And then you'll also see probably more than three layouts with this kit. It is, I mean, now it looks like safe travels chicken to me, but we're going to work with it. Rarely do I have a chicken on an airplane wing. We do today. Anywho, uh, you'll see layouts until this kit is literally killed off because I find it to be incredibly beautiful. All right, so let me get three different sizes of those enamel dots in pink. And then let's bring in some of the yellow because I do have the yellow nicely in my um, in my title. So let me have it there, there, and another little guy right here. And then what's our third color? Maybe the darker teal, yeah, to bring that in. You are so smart, oh my gosh. I'll have, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, one, two, three. I will have to do a little bit here. And then let's go with a medium. Right about there. All right, a little bit of mist. And we're gonna call this one done. And I had so much fun creating with you. So any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And I will get back to you on my very next 
cup of coffee sit down because that's when I get back to people. And what else? Yeah, any questions or comments, leave them down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. That's all for now, friends. Bye-bye.